It's one of the world famous destinations attracting thousands of tourists every year, but Rotorua is becoming increasingly popular with Kiwi travellers too. Debbie Griffiths has been checking out the family attractions for the school holidays. And good morning, Debbie. Morning, Mel. Yeah, well, you need to see the mud pools and the geysers, of course, but I can also let you into a bit of a secret because all the locals know about Chia Batter Bakery. It is off the beaten track, so put it into your Google Maps on the phone and make your way there. This is where you're going to find artisan bread, amazing coffee, including banoffee coffee, yes they mm, do that, yum. and a paleo chino as well, and go nuts, can't use the word cronuts, so they're go nuts there and they are delicious. And they make the world's longest chia batter bread, so ask them for the long dog. It's Yum. huge, it is long. <laughs> and then take your lunch onto the Rotorua Duck Tour. Now this is a genuine World War II amphibious landing vehicle. We were told the suspension hadn't been changed since the 1940s. <laughs> and I believe it, it's bumpy and the sides are open so it's really great fun. The kids had a fantastic time. It's Head out on the waterfront and we went to the Blue and Green Lakes and we went onto the water for a bit of a motor around. It's really great fun. Oh, that looks absolutely fantastic. And you can see stunning scenery and the wildlife there in Rotorua is just fantastic as well. Yeah, yeah, and we got really up close and personal to the wildlife. We went to a place called Wingspan. That was our next stop. Wingspan is the only bird of prey centre in New Zealand. It's not a tourist attraction. It's more of a conservation and a research programme. It's working to rebuild the number of endangered New Zealand falcon. So what they do is they take care of injured birds and then they either release them back into the wild or if they can't go back into the wild to fend for themselves, they actually become the parents of a new generation of falcon, oh. which are then released into the wild. Look at that. Yeah, and the Amazing. kids get to hold them as well. It's just gorgeous. Not very heavy. They're quite light birds. So the kids had a great time And there. they can take care of the rabbit population at the same time. There you go, mm. yeah. And they do train them every day. They use a lure. So they do that every day with the birds, whether there are people there to watch them or not. The falconers at Wingspan are dedicated not just to rehabilitation, but they also actively research and they study the falcons as well. And they really want to help conserve the species. They're really, really serious concerns that the species may become extinct. So any support, any sponsorship will be really welcome. Oh, that's great. And I just love the fact that the kids can actually hold a national icon. Another one's on the, the new $20 bills, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, that's right. The Governor General was holding one of the wingspan falcons at the launch of the new money recently. Oh, awesome. Um, now, I hear you went on a bushwalk with a bit of a difference. Bit of a difference. It was a bit higher. This is true. <laughs> Walk. It gives you a bird's eye view of the Californian redwoods in Rotorua. So it just opened before Christmas. It's still quite new. It's a 550 metre walkway suspended from the trees. So there are 22 suspension bridges and it's kind of when you step onto it, it's like walking onto like a firm trampoline. It's got a bit of a give to yeah. it, but you do feel really safe because you've got all that netting up on the side. So it looks great. Yeah, no yeah. age restriction so the kids can go on it. So yeah, had a run around there. See, and you need to go on that little bushwalk with the difference after eating the go nuts <laughs> and you know the long dog because yeah, yeah. walk it all up walk <laughs> the calories exactly right oh, yeah. it we looks really fantastic that. Yeah. cool okay well consider us armed with a great tick list of things to do next time we are in Rotorua thanks so much Debbie uh, we do need to point out to Holly though that the rule on the tree walk is no running what would I do